Hi, my name is Al Fonts, and I am a food addict and a compulsive overeater. I'm a grateful member of the 12-step recovery program, Overeaters Anonymous. Overeaters Anonymous offers a program of recovery from compulsive overeating using the 12 steps and 12 traditions of OA. OA is not about weight loss, weight gain, or maintenance, obesity, or diets. It's really about addressing physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. It's not a religious organization, does not promote any particular diet, and has no dues or fees. We're supported through our own member contributions. I entered OA in May of 2008 at a top weight of 355 pounds. With that being said, here's my story. Okay, uh, I eat uh, in a very unusual way in the sense that um, once I start eating things, I can't stop. Now, that doesn't really apply to, you know, carrots and vegetables and things like that, but more so to things with sugar or flour in them. Um, Gosh, you know, desserts and parties, Halloween candy, sneaking food, hoarding food, eating at night, um, waiting till I was alone and then eating and watching TV. Didn't matter if it was salty, sweet, fatty. Uh, For me, I just... I liked a lot of foods that weren't good for me health-wise and, um, you know, sugar items like donuts and cakes and cookies, candy. I like salty things like chips and nuts and crackers, flour, items like bread, pizza, bagels, fatty foods uh, were also at the top of my list. Anything fried, things with cheese, dips, white dressings like ranch and blue cheese. I found myself uh, that when I ate these types of things, it was hard for me to stop. My food was almost exclusively emotional. Uh, you know, uh, I ate m- way more calories than my body needed to sustain itself. Uh, you know, uh, there'd be times when I would be able to, you know, eat normally, uh, and then I would slip back into these uh, behaviors. A lot of times it would happen, um, uh, you know, again at night or in, in, in particularly difficult times. Uh, but it happened, you know, quite frequently. I was really hard on myself, angry, sullen, defensive a lot of times, uh, because I felt shameful and guilty most of the time because I felt like, you know, I had no willpower. Um, physically I had bad knees, high blood pressure, diabetes, sleep apnea, tired all the time, not able to participate in, uh, my kids' lives, uh, you know, effectively. It wasn't outgoing, uh, and I really was missing out. Uh, on life. You know, I hit a bottom of 355 pounds. I was in my mid 40s and uh, very concerned about my health and my longevity at this point. So, you know, I turned to OA. I found them on the on the internet uh, at OA.org. Uh, I looked up a meeting. I read a little bit. There's some questions on there. You know, if you eat this way, you may want to look at it uh, from a compulsive standpoint. So I was able to kind of self-diagnose myself a little bit. And then I looked up a meeting near me and I went to it. Um, uh, I knew once I got there and I started to listen to other people talk about how they eat, uh, that I was home. I was home and that other people, you know, did things like I did, uh, snuck food, hid food, you know, uh, ate whole bags of chips while sitting on the couch and watching the biggest loser and saying how motivational it was and how great it would be to be thin and, and sit there and eat anyway, uh, and say, I'd start tomorrow. And then tomorrow never came or tomorrow only lasted a couple of hours. I don't know how many times I started diets. Um, and then, uh, uh, you know, by lunchtime, uh, I was off of them more or by dinner or certainly, you know, have a good day and then, you know, find myself on the couch at nine or 10 o'clock at night, everyone else in the house goes to bed and I start eating through my, through the refrigerator. It's crazy. So I went to an OA meeting. I met a lot of people. I started to listen to how other people have overcome their, their issues. Uh, I got a sponsor, a sponsor, someone that kind of just helps you guide you through, uh, the work that needs to be done. I won't, I won't kid you. This isn't easy. Um, uh, but it was the last house on the block for me. I tried everything else. I had was considering, uh, obesity surgery. Uh, I knew that I would alter my body and then continue to eat because I'd done it so many, how many times have I made promises and I'd swear that I would never eat again. Um, I've since lost a lot of weight. Uh, I've gained back a lot of sanity. I've improved my relationships and I'm just a happier, better person all the way around. For more information, visit our local website at oahelps.org 
or oa.org if you're anywhere else in the United States. Thank you. Bye.